Hello everyone, let's try to go back with another uh, Raiders video. In this video, I'll be giving my game recap of the Raiders Chargers uh, regular season week one game. So let's get into it. The Raiders lost 24 to 19. Um, the first quarter started out, you know, pretty neutral, 3-3. Uh, the Raiders scored, um, uh, the Chargers got ball first, they got a field goal. Raiders then got a field goal, and then the Chargers uh, punted, the Raiders punted. Um, now, on the first drive of the game for the Raiders, it was looking good. Like three or four, I believe three third downs converted i actually i believe four third downs converted um you know adams had a big third and 16 catch then he had then matt collins had like a third and six catch then montana's again on a third and four or third and six catch and then in the red zone on third and goal their car didn't miss the throw to darren waller darren waller absolutely routed up derwin james who got bailed out by another similar to week 18 last year how their um darren waller burnt derwin james uh for a touchdown but their car missed them same things ha same thing happened here their car didn't miss the throw he was not even under pressure Waller was wide open. It was a great play call. Everyone went this way. Waller went this way. Uh, Derwin James had to go across traffic to get to Waller, but should have been touchdown. Should have been the lead right there. But it was a field goal instead. Um, but I, I, at least it wasn't really on the red zone play calling because that was a good play call. Jacobs also slipped on the on I believe first and goal, which would, which could have been a touchdown. In the second quarter, that's when the Raiders really got dominated. As a, as a whole, in the first half, it was not good, down seventeen to three. But really, it was the second quarter where that where that domination took place by the Chargers. Fourteen points by them, zero point by us. Uh, we had we turned it over once. Derek Carr inter intercepted by Drew Tranquil. Um, Herbert. Uh, well, the Chargers had two passing touchdowns. Now they had they was a Nate Hobbs, you know, pretty bad penalty call, and then the third and goal pat touchdown. We got two. We forced two incomplete passes from the one yard line. That was pretty good to see. But then third goal play action, the fullback got us for a touchdown. Then we turned it over to uh, turn, turn it over to Drew Tranquil with an interception, and then Her Herbert made a really good throw to DeAndre Carter. DeAndre Carter was looking like really good out there for a guy who's a return guy. That was not good to see. Keenan Allen went down in the second quarter, but um, he was having a really good game by by, by before he got hurt. And then also. Um, Trayvon uh, Merrick went down in the second quarter. He he had, you know, only a couple of plays on the wall. He had two solo tackles. Anthony Ever got hurt in the second quarter. Unfortunately, we'll be on IR out for at least a month. You know, like four weeks basically. We have a bye week coming up. So ho hopefully, best case scenario, he's back week seven against the Texans. The Raiders signed a call Robbie Coleman at slot. Uh, Javelin Goodry picked up off waivers. Vernon Hargraves they, they had him on a visit today. I mean, like. I, I said that they wouldn't. I said it was a bad, it was a mistake to not only trade Mullen, but to have this much trust in um, Sam Williams and Nick Robertson. So guess what happens? And the game gets, gets hurt. The next day they sign Nicole Robbie Coleman and Javelin Goodry. The day after that they bring in a new corner for a visit. Looks like they might have made a mistake cutting Darius Phillips and trading Trayvon Mullen. We'll see. Trayvon Mullen also, by the way, didn't play in Week One against the Car Chiefs. Maybe he'll play against us in his first game as a Cardinal. Now back to the that game. So domi dominated at the end of the half, right? The game was going to go, in the second half, here's what I was worried, not because of the score, but exactly what I was saying in my game preview. I was saying the Raiders are going to be playing from behind. They have to force the ball down the field against a good pass rush and a good, co and a good coverage unit. That's what happened. We, sure, we, we had some good drives, but overall, when Carr had to hold the ball because the coverage is good, he got sacked. When he had to throw the ball quick because the pass rush was coming in, there were some interceptions. So, um exactly what happened there except we were able to stay in the game because our defense actually looked really um really good in the second half besides one drive against the chargers they scored on their first offensive drive of the second half but besides that they locked down um charged offense had zero points in the final either 20 or 25 game minutes of the game which is really good the defense felt like a 2021 20, um defense for us no turnovers no no sacks but got off the field on third down now they did still generate pressure clean Farrell in, in, in his limited um pass rush opportunities played a good game Max Crosby had a lot, had a ton of pressures. He had a really good game in run stopping, eight run stops credited for. He had like thirty two or thirty three all of last season. And last season, he, last season he was still a good, really good run stopper. In this game, he had he already had twenty five percent of the run stops he did last year. He was good. I don't care what anyone says. Challenge Jones, yeah, he was not as good. Blond Nichols, he looked really good against the run. The Raiders overall, I will say, looked pretty good against the run actually. Um, and then, you know, Vickers really, you know, whatever. Billings wasn't even that bad. Hankins either, you know. I did like the three, the three, the five-man front that they were showing, you know, Challen Jones also, also at outside linebacker. It was honestly pretty good. Fortunately, Denzel Perryman went down. At first, I was really confused as why he wasn't out there. I thought they were straight up just, like, benching him or something. I would have been really mad. He got hurt, which is, you know, even worse. Hopefully, he's back uh, soon. We'll see, you know, the injury report uh, on Wednesday, which is tomorrow as I record this. John Brown uh, and Denzel and Divine Diablo, they had some plays, but really I didn't see them having a huge impact, but not, not nothing bad either. 
Um, and then in the fourth quarter came, yeah, the Raiders had a really good drive to Devontae, which ended in the Devontae Adams touchdown. Um, and also a really good throw to Darren Waller. Um, that was such a beautiful throw. And then we didn't score the rest of the game. We didn't get on, we get, didn't get the two point conversion. Uh, the Chargers uh, did punt. We got the ball back. Good play to Devontae Adams on first down. Solid play to Hunter on second down. Pats was tipped on third down. Um, and then a sack. And then we went for a fourth down and then a strip sack. Um, now, and then, you know, the Chargers got the ball. We still had a chance to actually starting two, but they ran for the first down, unfortunately. Our run defense, uh, you know, obviously lost on that play, but overall they had, they was, it was, they were, they were really good. Eckler had like 14 carries for like 33 yards, 34 yards. Joshua Kelly didn't do much. Tony Michelle, besides that 32 run, didn't do much. Now, um, as a whole, uh, I will say, now the first thing people talk about, including me, was the O-line. At first I thought the O-line was really terrible. I'm recording this two days after the game, which I'm, which I'm pretty much planning on for every game, maybe one or two days after the game, unless I'm really mad or if I'm allowed to say, I'll do, I'll do a raw reaction. But besides that, I'm going to wait. I'm happy I waited because, you know, I would have said the O-line was really bad. They weren't good, however, they were not bad. Um, Derek Carr, and honestly, in the first and like second quarter, he was honestly not doing too bad with the pocket mobility. Besides that one clue, Max sack in the second quarter. Well, the, his first, uh, he had two sacks in the second quarter, one, the, the first one. On, on our on our third drive of the game where we punted. But regardless, uh, he had no pocket mobility. He had so much room to run, especially on the third down sack, our second to last play of the game on offense. He, he could have ran up to the left. He could have had anywhere to the right and got and stood still and got sacked. On, fourth, on the final play of the game, there was nothing he could really do. He got pushed back from both tackle spots. Um, Clint Mack grabbed his face max, you know, whatever. The refs weren't really great for us. You know, Hunter Renfro, Bryce Callahan really tripped on him and there was no flag. But yeah, Derek Hart's pocket mobility, mobility was not good. And he had three interceptions. Now, I will say, on those three interceptions, he honestly made the good read. Devontae Adams, that was a touchdown. Darren Waller, that was a huge play. Hunter Renfro, that was the right check down for a first. Well, it wasn't really a check down. That was the right. Uh, he looked deep. He looked underneath the Renfro. Uh, he was going to throw it to him. Should have been a first down. Right read, but it was a bad throw. All those, because all those were under throws. Um, the Devontae Adams one, um, he kind, he didn't really step up into the throw, even though he actually did have room. At first, I thought he was just under, under pressure. I saw the replay, and then I saw he wasn't really under pressure. He had room to step up in the pocket, but did not. And he, he just took, he took the interception. Asante Samuel Jr. made a great play coming off the corner. Um, he was guarding Renfro on the boundary, came, came off and made the play on Adams, who got past Callahan. Um, now also Renfro, I'm not going to lie, got locked up by Bryce Callahan. I was, I was wrong there. He had three catches, 21 yards, 7.0 average with a fumble. He recovered it. And then Waller had four catches, 79 yards. Waller was, like, good here and there, but, you know, n not the superstar tight end we paid, even though he made, he, he still, you know, did some – pretty much all of his catches were pretty good plays, I will say. Um, his his uh, shortest gain was a gain of 10 yards. Besides that, pretty good gains. Um, the um, – so the offensive line, have you, er have you ever in your life ha heard of an O-line committee? Because I have not. Running back committee, that's a different thing. But O-line committee, I've never heard of in my life. Besides from me thinking about it in this game. Right tackle, Lunar started, then Thayer Munford. Um, right guard, um, uh, Parham started, then Colin came in. This video started with the car light on, now it's off. Regardless though, Lunar actually didn't look, I mean, he didn't look bad. Thayer Munford, I know some people are defending. Look, he's a 7th round pick. I'm not saying he's bad, but he did not have a good game. It's just fine. He's a seventh round pick. He should not be, you know, playing this early in the season. Unfortunately, he had to because, you know, Luminar wasn't great, and we, I guess, we had a plan to to, to transition our tackles. Now, Parham looked really good in run blocking, not as much in pass blocking. Lesser Con is was opposite. Pretty good in run blocking, not much in pass blocking. Or I mean, opposite. Good in pass blocking, not much in run blocking. Anya James had a good game. He, on, unfortunately, maybe at first it was reported it was a heat stroke and a concussion. He went to the hospital. Looks like he's going to be okay. He's back at the facility on Monday. Um, so it looks like he's going to be okay. However, they did sign Billy Price to the practice squad. They already have Hermes Grossu as a center on the practice squad. But I'm hoping he's fine. He played an okay game. Not an okay game. A solid, good game. John Simpson, left guard, did not look good. Um, and then left tackle, Cole Miller, probably the worst Raiders alignment in this game, which is unfortunate coming from our best alignment in this game. Well, I mean, our best alignment in general had the worst aligned game in this game from our offensive alignment. He was getting pushed back. It was just, it was bad. Run blocking, pass blocking. It was not good. Now for for him. Now Jacobs had ten carries though. He had fifty seven yards, five point seven average. Jacobs is not bad. Now what I did say also, what I, now obviously since the Raiders fell behind, you know obviously they were gonna you know pass the ball more, or else they feel like they would have ran the ball more. They they started running. They even on the first like drive, you know it was more passing than running. 
Then eventually they fell behind. We passed the ball more with spring, spring, sprinkling runs in there, on which which honestly looked good. Jacobs had a good, good 18-yard run, good 8-yard run, broke a bunch of tackles. Uh, it was really good there. One reception for 16 yards or maybe 15 yards, I believe 16. That was a good siege. Uh, Brandon Bolden clearly is the running back too. He got hurt. Hopefully he's okay. Receiving touchdown on two receptions for 21 yards and a and three rushes for seven yards. I Amir mean, Abdullah... I don't know how much he would have played if Bolden didn't go. I mean, yeah, if Bolden didn't go down. He played. He had one target and some pass protection plays in there as well. And then Zimmer White did not play except for one or two key return opportunities because DJ Turner got hurt in this game, unfortunately, with an ankle injury. Ankle. Hopefully, he's okay. Now, defensively, um, as the secondary honestly looks solid. Like Rocky Seen, is no one's mentioning him, but he had a really good game. Nate Hobbs, obviously, everyone's talking about. He had an amazing game. Jonathan Amer had a good game, you know, I, 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 maybe some people thought he didn't, maybe, I mean, he had, like, one play with being coverage. That play to Austin Eckler on 3rd and 5, he actually made a good play getting over there to make the play on Eckler. That was, I don't know if that was his responsibility, but he was all the way lined up at safety, came all the way down to make that tackle. Maybe if they would have, maybe if they would have, you know, maybe if the play gone into a review, um, you know, if it went to review, maybe it would, they would have seen it was not a first down. However, it, it, it did look like it was a first down, but I'm just saying, you know, they didn't do an official review. However, also the Raiders forced a um, turnover on downs on fourth and one. They would try to go for a sneak, shut down. So the trench, the Raiders probably won in the trenches, at least in run defense. Chandler Jones, even though he, people are saying how locked up by Slater, look, there were some plays where he won against Slater. He has a way better reach than Slater, um, uh, you know, arm length than Slater. That helped them win a few reps. Besides that, yeah, Rashawn Slater had a good game. He's a really good tackle, top five in the league at left tackle. Um, and Max Crosby, obviously, he did dominate, even if the stats don't see it. A lot of pressures. You're going to see here the same thing. Lots of pressures. He didn't get to the quarterback. Herbert was really elusive, but he still played really well. You know, also, I'm not going to lie. It was pretty amazing to see Devontae Adams going off in this game. I know he lost, but it was just so satisfying seeing getting exactly what we wanted from this guy and, you know, receiver one. This is exactly what we wanted a receiver one to do. This is exactly what we wanted Devontae Adams to do. He went off. He did his thing. Sonny Samuel Jr., besides a couple of good plays, got burnt the whole game. Um, um, and then... Uh, Matt Collins had one catch. You know, look, Matt Collins had one catch. Tyron Jones played zero off in those snaps. However, like, we don't really need them in his offense. Like, our offense still moved, had, like, 300, had almost 300 passing, well, I guess 300 total yards, 350 total yards of offense, and we didn't even utilize Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller not as much as we could have. We, we don't really need the Matt Collins or Tyron Johnson to go off, but I mentioned that it will be important that when they got the opportunity, they make a big play. It was third down. Um, Carr, his first read on the right wasn't open. He looked to the middle, threw it to Matt Collins. It was contested, but you know he had to get a throw off. It was caught by Matt Collins for 15 or 16 yards. I believe 16. He made a great catch. When the ball came his way, the only time he did in this game, he made the catch on third down. Clutch. It was hype. I love to see it. Um, and then <clears throat> punt returns. Hunter Renfro was back there. Um, you know he is a great punt returner. Of course, you know there is there's, um, you know obviously um, you know some scare that he might get hurt one of these days on the punt return. Um, he did actually week 15, 2020, got a little up against the Chargers on the head with no flag. But, you know, he, I think he had like two punt returns this game for like four yards. The Chargers really, they had one punt when they pinned us right inside the five. Yeah. So the Raiders did lose 24-19. I was honestly at peace over the loss about like a day later after the game. Um, I said we lose this game. Now, the, the way I I, I have the I had the Raiders season starting off like this. I went to the a loss of the Chargers. Everyone's upset. Then they go out and take the frustration out on the Cardinals and win. Why? Because I think the Cardinals are a great matchup for us. Everything that everything the Chargers is good well against us. The Ch Cardinals don't really have their pat. Uh, the Chargers pass rush. The Cardinals can't do that. I don't care if JJ Watt's playing or not. The secondary the Chargers have the Cardinals won't do that against us. They will not force that many turnovers. At least I hope not. And their offense is pretty dysfunctional. They have a college head coach. Kyle Murray will be scrambling the whole time. Uh, the running game is like non-existent as far as I know. James Conner is good in the red zone, but that's 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 it. Besides that, the line is not as good. Challenge Jones in his revenge game, Max Rosby. The game preview obviously will be coming. I just want to say I feel good about that game. I if the Raiders lose that game, I will say I'll actually be concerned because you know even I would be surprised. But if the Raiders win that game, I'd be fine. We'd be one and one. The Chiefs are charged. One of those teams will be two and zero. Oh. One of them will be one and one unless they tie at the end of week two. Denver will probably be one and one after beating the Texans. After beating the Texans, they're zero and one right now after losing to the Seahawks. However, I think we got this. Titans, the Titans also we were playing week three. Looked really bad against the Giants. Not like it's really bad, but they lost to the Giants at home uh, in a huge upset. So yeah, I still am okay. I'm so I still feel good about this team. Like we didn't play bad. 
which is a bad sign. I'm sorry, we did play bad, which is a bad sign. However, we only lost by five points to a good team, which is, is a good sign. Um, you know, so yeah, Derek Carr, O-line, probably a big reason we lost this game. The defense could have done more, but I mean, in the second half, besides one charge to drive, they did all they really could. All they really, they gave the offense multiple ch chances to win this game, besides one drive in the second. Besides like two drives, uh, three, which they stalled out on a trick play. The Raiders offense looked uh, not as good. So yeah, that was my game recap of the Raiders Chargers week one regular season game. I'm Arthur, thank you for watching.